This painting I poured and I like it, and I, but I really think I can bring out the gold. And I wanted to tell you that this painting that I also embellished, um, I'm sure I'm, um, some of you saw it, this gold and the, is just unbelievable. You mean, it is so yellow and so vibrant. There are just, it's amazing, truly amazing, truly amazing. I just, if you're a gold person like me, um, I'm so happy with this, with the, uh, I love purple and gold, but, and I found that out, it doesn't matter. I, I digress all the time. Anyway, I wanted to share this gold. Um, the formula that I found works really good is this, it's a patio mixed with the 24K, um, not too much of this, because as we all know, probably is that this is actually very transparent and this helps make it less transparent, but the combination is pow, off the charts for gold, from my experience only. So I'm going to be taking this painting here and you'll see, I'm going to just stand up and show you. Um, you'll see this gold over in the corner there. Um, it's, um, I want to bring some more of that out and I want to bring it more throughout around where the less, uh, where there's areas of less color. I also want to enhance this so that more of the white, um, or should I say spacing between the petals is more defined. And that's what I'm going to do with this painting is make it even more dimensional that it is. Uh, it can be more. And so it, I have a feeling this is going to take me a while and I am going to record it, but I'm going to publish it. I'm going to go in, in very fast motion and uh, you know, that's what I'm going to do. I wish I had done it with, I had recorded the embellishments with this guy here. I really wish I had because it was, um, it was a process and it was just a wonderful, wonderful journey. But the gold I wanted to just really share with you with that formula because I've learned so much from these channels and you know, we, you, know you, you, pass it, you pass it along and that's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing. So I'm passing it along to you. I hope, unless, you've already, unless you already know it, you might, but if you, if you don't, there you go. And um, I'm gonna be doing this process and uh, uh, thank you for watching. Take care everyone, bye-bye. So as I begin, I'm showing you that I'm using a knife brush, also called an angle brush or a cutting brush because it comes to a sharp point and you can cut into and cut into your wherever you want to go with the brush. I use it all the time. It's a great brush. Um, they all are, but I use it like almost I use it consistently consistently throughout this painting. I'm beginning from the inside and I'm working my way out, but I don't, I'm not consistent with that, I'll be honest. I'm, I, I, I keep stepping back later on into, to, even into today, and this was yesterday, and uh, I, I just keep, my focus is changing based on where my eye goes, and it, that's okay, so it's all part of the process of trying to decide where you want to go with what you're doing.
I'm using golden iridescent pearl heavy body paint and um, a little bit of pink to soften that some of that white that you, that I'm working on down below. I actually go even darker later on because it really sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, but I'm working on it and um, baby stepping. You'll see me pointing to the part of the painting where there's cells and I'm trying not to overdo and get rid of those cells. I, I really want to keep as many of the cells as I can. You'll see that the lighting has changed. Um, I edited out a lot of a lot of uh, talking as I was doing this process and moving along. I was explaining a lot that I realized would probably make the video too long, and really this was just about the process of me embellishing it as, and showing it as you know relatively as fast as I can. And uh, so the light of day is changing and it's making the painting look darker. There's no reflection coming through the window at it. I keep, I keep repositioning the painting so I can get a better view of it so that my head's not in the way, which it seems to be a lot. And I apologize for that. So just hang in there with me. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> What you're gonna see, excuse me, occasionally is you'll see me pointing. And like I said, I cut out all these, the talking. Um, I'm trying to explain that as I work my way, the way I started was I was um, putting in the, um, the, the lines, sort of where I thought the petals should be, uh, the breaks that you see. Um, in the painting, I I'm, I'm, don't know how else to explain it, but this this particular video, part of the video, you're going to see this fill in a lot. And that's what you're going to see. You're going to see me putting in the lines, putting in, you know, where the petals are that I think where, and they do change, you know, they shift as I go along um, based on what I think makes sense. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go along here and I'm gonna put in my lines. And uh, like I said, eventually I'll, I'll be going in and, and um, adding some color, enhancing it and so on.
so um, as the sun moves around uh, that during the passing of the day, the you know it's hitting the painting at certain angles, and some it looks like it's just changing. The burgundy looks like it's blue in the next shot. Um, like there you go, you can see it. Um, but there was nothing I could do ab about that. I was at the uh, I was at the mercy of the sun. Uh, anyway, um, that's not such a bad thing. It just doesn't come out perfect on the video. That's all. So I'm taking my my knife brush and I'm dipping it in gold and I'm going over some lines to test my theory about including it more in certain parts of, uh, especially where the gold is, where those gold clumps are that you see up in the left-hand corner. I really need to do something with those, and I'm going to. Uh, I will be doing that. You'll, you'll be seeing that evolve, too. And um, it's a process. This is short, you know, it's the only thing you can say is it's a process. And um, so far, I'm, uh, I'm pleased. Thanks for sticking with me so far. <laughs> I do appreciate it, guys. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to pursue, I'm going to finish drawing my lines out. And then I'm going to come back. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you what I've done. And you can see what I've done already. Let me move this over here. Okay, so you can see I have a not too out here. I have to fine tune it. Uh, um, when I'm all the way out and I feel satisfactory that I all the petals are making sense and it's all making sense to whatever that means, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I'll be right back and we'll start to uh, We'll start coloring it in. This is just a close-up of me showing you how I'm uh, taking my knife brush and I'm just putting the, the paint on the edge of it so that I can, you know, and using the very tip of it to, to draw those lines in. I use this brush, like I said, consistently throughout this whole painting. I love it. It worked, it worked out so well. So here you're going to see me go over one of the white lines in red, <clears throat> excuse me, the burgundy, the Charvin burgundy that I'm using as part of this palette. And I really liked how it changed that petal. And I actually do that a lot throughout this. I, I just keep changing it. It just keeps evolving. You know, you have to go with it. You really do have to go with it. Uh, if it doesn't make sense to you, it did at the time. And and then when I go back and I'm starting to define, really define these petals, certain things that I did before don't make as much sense as they did at the time that I did it. But the, the guide that I had that I did with those was really important. It was an important step, and I couldn't have gotten this far without doing that. So change is inevitable. Uh, the further that you go in, but it was, you know, none of it's a mistake. So just, you know, keep that in mind that uh, just because you're changing something, it doesn't mean you did something wrong. It just means that the painting is taking on its, you know, a life and you're giving it life. And uh, that's just the coolest thing. 
I know I'm pretty deep here, right? But <laughs> it's true. Okay. I changed my brush to a small filbert so that I could get in um, the smaller space, the center of the rose. 
because uh, with my hand, I think you can see I'm pointing out where I think that um, I need to fix this blob of white. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. You know, it's funny as I watch myself do this um, while I'm editing this, which takes hours. I really have so much more appreciation for people who do videos. It's, um, wow, uh, it's, it's tough, but it's very rewarding. Uh, so anyway, I'm on day three here, but I stopped because I, I want to get this published because this is the first day of me editing it and I'm hoping to finish it today. But it, I wanted to say as I'm watching this and I know I keep gravitating toward that center because the center is sort of the nucleus of, of this painting. It's become that way for me anyway. And, you know, I can see with my eye wow, you know, I need to get that up there. And I know I'm gonna get that part up there and I know I'm gonna, you know, fix what I see that I don't like. I mean, I know what I did, but it's, I'm even a little like, I wouldn't say like frustrated, but uh, thinking to myself, if I was somebody watching this, I'd say, I hope she sees that, but I see it and, uh, <laughs> 
My eyes, um, you know, my eyes are all over this painting and I, I'm very impulsive, I guess, and I tend to, you know, go where my eyes, you know, I've said it, go where my eyes take me and that's where my brush goes and um, it all comes together because uh, it, you know, that's, for me, that's, uh, that's just how I do it and every artist is different, so, uh, you know. <laughs> It's just funny, I, I had to insert that because I was cracking up on Mary, get that, get that pedal, it's, it's driving me nuts. I just want to say that I've watched and I admire so many hundreds of artists I've watched. I've watched techniques. I've been, I've doubted myself. I've doubted my techniques. I've doubted my, um, myself. And when you do something, when you create art and, you know, again, me being philosophical here, but it's been a, it's been a journey, and um, for you, for the last several years now, and uh, you have to do it. Um, you can take art classes, and you can learn art theory, and you can learn, and you should, and uh, compliments and and etc. But just don't let it stop you. Don't don't let it stop you from doing what you want to do while you're learning it because you might, you're not going to adapt. You're going to, you know, someone else's style. It's gonna be your own. And that's, that's the most important thing about creating is making it your own. And we can emulate people and uh, artists and we can try things. What I'm trying to say is there's nothing wrong with how to create, create. Get out there and do it. Learn, but don't let it stop you. And don't think you're not good. Just keep going. That's, that's all I have to say. <laughs>